Okay, this time we're going to show you, I, I pulled up a camera image of the flower, and I'm going to try to show you some examples using the feather and the anti-alias tools up here with the elliptical marquee. I will open up a file, a blank file, uh, about 6 by 6 and 300 and we can move that down to the bottom under the camera image and we will have our elliptical marquee tool and we'll try to fix the size. We'll make it a one space one inch by two space one inch high. And for the first uh, example that we're going to pull down to our blank document, we will have the feather on zero and the anti-alias unchecked. So we will just go to Edit Copy and then go to our blank document and do Edit Paste. And then, oops, yeah, we can look at it. And we can go down and look at it and we can see that it has a rather hard edge, okay? So now for our second example, now we'll do uh, Control D to deselect and we will again select the elliptical marquee and we'll have the anti-alias on. And we'll click again and do Edit Copy and then select our uh, blank document and go Edit Paste and try to get a look so that you can compare one to the other with our move tool here. You see the first document, the first uh, piece is a very hard edge and with the anti-alias on we have this little soft edge here. So now for our third example we'll do control D to deselect. We'll select our marquee tool. This time we'll take the feather tool and let's try feathering it 12 pixels and we can select and do edit copy and then select our other document and you have edit paste and you see here is your feathered example so the third example is when you have your feather on you can select the feather to be any amount you want. Your second example with your slightly softened smooth edge is when you have your anti-alias on and you really have to get in close to see the difference there. And your third example is just a clean cut with your marquee tool. So you have to be very very careful what your settings are. Let's try one more with the feather on. I'll do control D and I'll put the feather on 20 this time and I'll click it and do copy and then paste and I will back up so you see that this is the 12 pixel feather this is the 20 pixel feather. This is with the anti-alias on, which you really can't see from here. You have to get in close. The anti-alias has a little bit of a smooth edge because it's softened by blending the pixels on the edge. And this is just a hard cut with no anti-alias on.